Okay, so here uh, I have a question in terms of you were talking about, uh, uh, let's say, the infrastructure as a service when it came in. Uh, uh, your provider, let's say Azure or AWS, takes care of certain stack of uh, infrastructure, right? Let's say hardware. Yes. Can you just simplify us very quickly telling which are the two, three layers which the provider takes care, right? And which are the layers which uh, the one who is getting, buying that uh, service has to take care? So can you just simplify just pretty quickly? Yeah, very simple, right? So, if, if, so as I mentioned earlier, right, if I want to set up my own data center, what would what do I need? I need data center space first, right? So imagine if I want to start, uh, uh, you know, a, a website which I'm expecting to hit, you know, uh, maybe uh, 100,000 users, right? So I need sufficient amount of maybe 50 servers or 100 servers to do that, right? So I need space, first of all, right? I need a data center space where I can host that. So then I need power for that, right? I need to provide electricity, I need to provide cooling, I need to provide the basic data center services. Right. So that's 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 the bare minimum. Right. Then I need the physical hardware. So I need to purchase the physical servers. I need to purchase the storage. I need to purchase the networking devices, the hardware networking devices, the Cisco routers and switches or whatever manufacturer it is. All these hardware you need to have. And then uh, you need to go out and configure it, set it up, manage it. All this underlying hardware. Then comes things like virtualization. You know, most common thing is VMware. Then you have Hyper V. You have open source hypervisors. So you need virtualization administrators managing that virtualization platform. All of this complexity is taken care of by the cloud service provider. You don't need to man. You need. You don't need a data center. You didn't. Don't need to purchase your own hardware. You don't need to configure your own network devices and switches and routers. Right. Till the virtualization layer, right? Compute, storage, network, virtualization is taken care of by the service provider. From the operating system level, right? You have a Windows server or a Linux server, right? So from that level, the customer has to be has to take care of it. The IT administrators have to take care of it. So anything you install inside, you install an application, you install a MySQL database, you install a SQL server, you install something inside as an application, it's your responsibility. The security of that, the backup of that, the management of that, right? The application stack. So all this will be your responsibility as an IT administrator. So that's what infrastructure as a service means. That's the, the service provider provides you the infrastructure as a service. Anything on top of that from the operating system level is the IT administrator's responsibility. Okay, awesome.